Kind of an interesting day Sunday to get all that snow. We had some of the heaviest snowfall in some spots anyway that we've seen the entire winter. Wet uh, and uh, heavy snowfall and some bursts of activity in a relatively short amount of time. It really didn't get going until about lunchtime. We saw the snow really then begin to pile up. The snow came to an end uh, by just after sunset last evening. Watch that as we I mean, look at time lapse from Assisi Heights. That's our Lewiston Auto Camera. Right now, here's a look from Lake City. A snowier landscape. Still some snow and ice across Lake Pepin. Some of that may just begin to melt a little bit later today and over tomorrow. We're talking about temperatures above freezing by, in fact, lunchtime today. But right now, for the time being, some fog, some clouds, and certainly more of that fog showing up prominently here from our studio as we look southward. This is our Lewis Auto camera from Signal Hill, northwest Rochester, right down the weather patio. It's 25 degrees, winds out of the west, 10 miles per hour. The wind chill 15, air pressure is rising, 29.79 inches of mercury. Again, mostly 20s on the map at this hour. Pretty mild uh, by seasonal standards and way better than any of the weather we had for the, about the last two or three weeks at this hour. We've been struggling to stay above zero, and here we are actually warmer than the seasonal average for the morning hours. 25 in Rochester again, Dodge Center 25, Mason City 20. 22 and 28 in Winona. Right now, gray skies, some fog. It's 25. It's a visibility a little less than a mile, though, here in Rochester. It feels like 14 with those 11 mile per hour winds. Visibility, quarter mile at the airport in Rochester, a little less than a mile in Austin. And parts of North Iowa still dealing with a little bit of fog, especially around Charles City, Cresco, Decorah, about a mile there. And that will slowly improve. Over the course of the morning, as southwest winds begin to kick in, drawing in some slightly drier air in the wake of the departing system. And uh, here's what the system left behind, though, in the way of not just fog, but snow. More specifically, some really heavy stuff, especially in northeast Iowa and far southeastern Minnesota. Riceville, 8.3 inches on the Iowa side of the border. Bluffton, 8 inches. Mabel, just on the Minnesota side of the, of the border, 7.5 inches. Cresco, 7 inches. Spring Valley, 4.7. Here in Rochester, officially at the airport, 4.3. Uh, and a little less than four inches in Austin here in the weather patio had just almost three inches. So the farther north you go, the lighter the amounts were. We see that the activity has moved down to the east and the clouds lag behind, but there is some clearing going on to the west as a warm front moves through. They increase those southwest winds. We'll see some clearing of the of the fog and the clouds. We'll have some sun for a time today and uh, that mild air coming in, helping us reach those upper 30s. Something we've not seen so far this entire month of February uh, thus far. I see some of that warmth showing up to the west in the temperature map, though. It's 33 in Rapid City, 39 right now in Minot, North Dakota, and 29 in Sioux Falls. All those spots are certainly warmer than we are. 25 in Rochester and 28 in Kansas City. Future track looking ahead at the tail end of the day. Start seeing some sprinkles develop. That's with that warm front coming through. So uh, spotty rain showers. A couple of snowflakes may mix in between around 6 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Then the skies will clear off behind that with another dose of mild sun for our Tuesday behind it. But uh, today for the morning, some fog at first 24 for that morning commute. Then skies clear off. We'll see the increasing sunshine. Bit of a southwest breeze, 15 to 20, gusting to 25 miles per hour. 37 the expected high. That is uh, about 5 or 6 degrees above the climate. But average will stay in the 30s right through the evening hours, dropping back just below freezing later tonight. But here's future track watching that warm front approaching sprinkles and flurries by the uh, evening hours lagging just behind that warm front. We'll have some sun shining in tomorrow, a bit of a west and southwest breeze helping us get close to 40. That'll be the warmest day of the week tomorrow. But another clipper system comes in, brings some rain, snow showers tomorrow evening or after about five or six o'clock, lasting until, until about midnight. Then skies will clear off with a slight cool down and uh, a quieter Wednesday with temperatures a little more seasonal in the low 30s, but still at, at the very coldest, all those temperatures warmer than anything we, we saw last week or the weeks before. We were struggling to get above zero for so long, uh, so a pretty mild week overall. 30 would be the climate average for this time of the year for today. 30 and 7, 37 that is in Rochester, though 38 Mason City and 38 in Owatonna. Some uh, quiet sunshine today. Tonight, a lighter breeze, a brisk uh, breeze developing late. And that warm front, a couple of sprinkles and flurries possible, then partly cloudy. Seven day forecast tomorrow, mild sun, then we'll see another chance of rain, snow showers tomorrow night, and another chance Friday night, then heading into Sunday, another chance of uh, snow. So there are some uh, storm systems in, impacting the area, but in between, a lot of mild sunshine kind of headed our way, Jess. And no negative numbers in the 70, I might add. That is some great news there. Thank you, Ted.